Number 15, Balloon Pop. It's Betty Ripsoms. What if she's still here? Some viewers that have already seen the 2017 IT film in full have described this scene as one of the best. That's likely because it's a traditional yet effective jump scare. The group of kids are entering a sewer canal and arguing about whether it's a good idea. Their attention is captured by the laughing Pennywise. When they glance in his direction though, they only see a red balloon. The balloon floats slowly closer to the group, as well as the children, before popping suddenly and exposing Pennywise. Number 14, Projector Scene. The children are gathered in a dark room as a map is displayed via a projector. The group is discussing all the locations where it, or Pennywise, has been spotted. After the projection is ripped down, objects begin moving mysteriously. Family photos shuffle through the projection, and a red-headed woman eventually morphs into Pennywise, who is staring at the group. Much like in the 1990 book scene, Pennywise eventually jumps out into the real world. His makeup, large teeth, and general appearance make for one of the most creepy images in the whole film. He truly takes on the modern idea of a scary clown. Number 13, Shower Scene. Here I am, Weezy. This scene from the 1990 film shows Eddie entering the shower at his school gym. Alone in the showers, Eddie is already uncomfortable, but soon Pennywise makes the experience even worse. The shower heads begin extending from the walls and bending in a fluid manner. As he rises from the floor drain, Pennywise says, It's okay, Eddie. I just wanted to say hello. Number 12, Come Float. Come join the clownness. You'll float down there. We'll float down there. Yes, we do. <laughs> Though the original Pennywise was brilliant for its time, Hollywood and horror have changed drastically over the years, so it's obvious that creators had to step it up a notch. Brighter, more alien looking eyes, tarnished clothes, a general costume change, a bigger forehead than ever, more vibrant and elaborate makeup, and a more naturally colored wig were just a few minor changes to Pennywise's appearance. The structure of Pennywise's face, mouth, and mannerisms were altered greatly as well to make him seem less like a scary clown and more like a supernatural entity. All these small yet powerful changes really come to life in this scene. Number 11, Georgie Sewer Scene 1990. Hi, Georgie. Aren't you going to say hello? Oh, come on, Bucko. Don't you want a balloon? Not only was this scene one of the most popular from the movie, it became popular in cinema history. Georgie is playing in the rainy streets. When his paper boat floats into the sewer drain along the street, he instinctively runs after his boat and peers into the drain when the rippling Pennywise voice says hello. He attempts to befriend Georgie in a shot that illuminates only his face. He eventually introduces himself as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. He also delivers the famous line, Yes, they do. They all float. All down here with me, you'll float too. With me. You float too! He then flashes a set of large yellow teeth, grabs the child, and drags him into the dark sewer drain, where you can only imagine what fate awaited him. 
Pennywise's friendly, welcoming, and almost sarcastic demeanor reminded the audience of a real-life party clown that could easily coerce naive children. Number 10. Georgie Sewer Scene 2017 Georgie. What a nice boat. The 2017 take on the famous sewer scene from the 1990 classic really didn't stray very far from the original, though some dialogue, imagery, and effects were improved. The plot and sequence was followed almost exact. Georgie meets the barely illuminated Pennywise after chasing for his paper boat. Pennywise, who now has more glowing eyes and a different demeanor, still attempts to talk Georgie into the drain. In this instance, Pennywise is much less inviting or playful, and that is reflected in Georgie's response. While the 1990 Georgie seemed hesitant yet intrigued, the 2017 Georgie knows something is wrong. He is not very curious about Pennywise or his plans. Even when reaching for his boat, he seems cautious. Pennywise opens his mouth to show sets of yellow teeth. Though in this version, they're protruding and animated, Georgie attempts to run away, but is quickly and effortlessly dragged into the drain. Number 9. Mike's Book The book scene, though somewhat cheesy by today's standards, was another famous scene in the classic film. The group of kids sit around a vintage photo album filled with photos of Pennywise from as far back as the early 1700s. As they discuss Pennywise and what he is, the pages begin flying and land on a photo of an old city street. The photo animates as though it's a video, and the kids watch in surprise. Pennywise eventually comes onto the scene, holding onto a light pole, and tells his plans to the group. He says that he will drive them crazy, and explains that he is their worst dream come true. I am your worst dream come true. I'm everything you ever were afraid of. At the end of his angry monologue, he shoves his hand through the photo towards the children. Number 8. Opening Scene The first scene in the 1990 It provided cinematic shots, gentle suspense, and the insight into how some children were too trusting of the average party clown. A little girl riding a tricycle pulls up into her backyard as her mother takes laundry inside and instructs her to get in before the rain begins. After her mother goes in, Lori Ann picks a doll up off the ground and hears a deep giggle from behind the hanging laundry. She looks in the direction of the laughter and catches a glimpse of Pennywise smiling through the blowing sheets. She smiles at him and almost walks forward. Her expression quickly switches and it's clear she's in trouble. Pennywise laughs again, but this time it's more dark. As the camera lunges towards the young girl in point of view shot, the screen goes black for a short time, and then we see Lori Ann's mother walk back into the yard. A true nightmare for parents and children alike. The best part of this scene was that it didn't show much detail of what happened. Instead, the viewer is left to imagine the sight that this mother must have endured. Number 7. Werewolf Scene This, this isn't happening. 
An important part that many people forget or don't even catch is that although Pennywise is usually portrayed as an unsettling clown on screen, he actually takes the form of the person's worst fear. For most of the film, we see him as a clown because we are seeing through the eyes of someone who is afraid of clowns, or simply because it makes the storytelling aspect easier when it's in the format of film. However, there are several scenes from both films where he takes various forms or controls objects related to the person's fear, such as in the shower scene. In this clip from the 2017 adaptation, Pennywise takes the form of a werewolf because that's the fear of one of the children. He changes his form just slightly to resemble a human-wolf hybrid, but maintains many of the signature Pennywise characteristics. Number 6. The Pawn Scene Daddy? That's my home now, son! You want a balloon, Ben? Hey, float! They all float. Come here, son. You like it down there. You'll never have to grow up. Not only does this scene from the 1990 classic make use of special effects and traditional tactics to upset the audience, it brings in a heart-wrenching real-world aspect by going after Ben's emotions. Pennywise takes the form of Ben's father, who passed several years prior, to lure him into an underground sewer canal. Ben is sitting in a wooded area when he hears his father calling for him in the distance. He follows the familiar voice to find his father standing on the pond and cheerfully asking him to come over. He gestures to the canal behind him and says, I live here now. As the scene goes on, the loving paternal voice begins to crack and deepen. Suddenly, his father is holding a bouquet of balloons and is spotting three large orange buttons on his suit. As his physical form begins to take the characteristics of Pennywise, his voice fully morphs into that playful yet unsettling tone that we all recognize. They float. They all float. And when you're down here with me, the clown waves at Ben and disappears from sight before a body emerges from the swamp and grabs at Ben's feet, saying, They all float. Number 5. Library Scene <laughs> One of the best aspects of the IT film was that Pennywise followed the group into their adulthood. Many people know the feeling of being followed by a childhood phobia, and this symbolism brought that to life. Richie is driving past a movie theater when he sees that the marquee reads, Rest in Peace, Richie Toyser. He immediately goes to meet Mike at a library, but finds that he is not there. He sits down in a state of panic and hears Pennywise calling for him. Though he tries to deny the presence, he ultimately sees the clown sitting on the second floor of the library. Pennywise offers him a balloon, and when he rejects, he sends countless red-filled balloons to the ground floor, which pop and cover those nearby. Pennywise warns, You can't run from me now. You're too old. You're all too old. To which Richie responds by running out of the library to his car. Number 4. Beverly's Father In her adulthood, 20 years after her encounter with Pennywise, Beverly Marsh returns to her childhood home in hopes to reconcile things with her father. Unfortunately, she discovers that her father has been gone for five years. The elderly woman now living in the home invites her in, though. While visiting with the woman, Beverly is reminded of countless instances where Pennywise taunted her in the home. While sitting with the elderly woman, Beverly remembers the sound of red liquid bubbling in her bathroom sink. She drops her teacup and realizes that this is another of Pennywise's games. I worry about you, Bevy. 
I worry a lot. As the older woman is kneeling on the floor and picking up pieces of the broken cup, she looks at Beverly. Her skin and face is now different, and in Mr. Marsh's voice, she says, I worry about you, the exact thing her father told her after the bathroom sink incident. Number 3. Fortune Cookies In a scene from the 1990 film, various objects are seen inside fortune cookies. While a couple is out at dinner, one cookie, when opened, sprays red liquid all over Beverly. The other cookies feature a cockroach, a moving eyeball, an undeveloped bird, and a spider's leg. These various items likely represent fears that people may have, and putting them into cookies is not only gross, but the definition of a nightmare. While the effects don't compare to today's ability, they were certainly horrible at the time, and the concept is unsettling to this day. Number 2. Pennywise the Dancing Clown This scene bursts with color and horror. A distraught Beverly is underground with Pennywise. Fireworks and carnival music begin to flash and play as Beverly awaits the presence. Either on a screen or in her mind, Pennywise dances in front of a flame-filled red background. As whimsical music plays, his motion resembles an old film or puppet show as his face stays perfectly clear and expressionless while his body bounces around. The camera shots switch between zooming into the face of Pennywise to the fearful Beverly just as she sees a way out and runs for it. He jumps onto the scene and goes after her. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore Chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. Also, I recently created a subreddit where you can submit videos and stories for future lists. It's r slash chills narrator, and the link is in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. If English isn't the only language you speak and you're interested in getting a shout out, click more, then add translations. By translating the video, not only will more people be able to watch it, but a link to your channel will be added in the description. Number 1. Pennywise's End In what appears to be the final battle between Pennywise and the Losers Club, they spray battery acid on his face and slingshot an additional blow to his head. A bright light bursts through his skull, and his face begins to melt and distort. The factor that really made the scene scary was the makeup though. Though many did find the original Pennywise design to be creepy, he just looks like an average clown. The makeup changed that by adding a ghoulish tone to his clown makeup, which is something many viewers could easily find unsettling. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or, if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!